To be clear, as I said, for the last few weeks, we have had the Daily Mail and the government and other newspapers claiming the cenotaph was going to be defaced and attacked by pro-Palestinian demonstrations. What actually happened was a bunch of far-right lunatics stormed the cenotaph, whipped up a hate mob by Sorella Braverman, by the government, and they were the vast majority of arrests. And the difference between that... You keep calling them counter-protests. Stop calling them that. They're far-right extremists. They were there for one reason, mm -hmm. hatred, mm -hmm. okay? The peace protesters were overwhelmingly there because, funny enough, most people in this country don't like watching little children mm. having their heads ripped off by missiles. And I am sick to death of a media industry in this country. I know we're supposed to have this chatty format where we're just here to be all pally and talk about the news, but we are now watching well, one of the great... I don't know how often you watch this program, <laughs> Look, we're watch it doesn't generally we're, we're, we're uh, watching one of the great, veer away we are from watching, arguments about very sensitive issues. We are watching is one exactly of the great massacres here. of our time, and those who are complicit in that massacre, a government which arms and backs Israel... And that, that's the media... As it is, much of the media is... is Here's as is well as, it, um, much of the media and the political establishment... Keir Starmer? It, yes, absolutely. The Keir Starmer is complicit Keir, in a massacre. Keir, Keir Starmer... Is it a genocide? Keir Starmer... Keir Starmer look, many... I'm asking you. Many genocidal e experts and scholars have said it is. Many UN officials have said it is. That's not so for me Keir to say. Keir is complicit in a genocide. No, as you're Keir trying Starmer. to put words no, into no, no, my mouth. I'm what, Keir, questions. what Keir Starmer did is went on national radio and said mm. that Labour, that he said that Israel had the right to cut off water and energy. We are seeing now the consequences of what cutting off energy is. Mm -hmm. It's premature babies yeah. gasping for breath, their first hours on earth dying amongst the killing field mm -hmm. of thousands of people, the dead bodies of Gaza being eaten mm -hmm. by the starving dogs. This is an apocalyptic scene. I know you're cringing. I don't like talking about the horrors well, of war I mean, either. Why would you, it's been sanitized so wrong, people aren't aware of what's actually happening to, to innocent cringe? people.